So I talked about wanting to upload more to the channel, and I know it's been a couple days since I've actually done anything like that, but it's kind of for good reason because I wanted to get into doing more commentaries and try to get, you know, some decent gameplay. I'm not going to get anything like world-breaking, ground-breaking, you know, record-setting or anything, but I want to try to get good gameplay for me, yeah, which look. is just going positive, you I know, see doing the best on my team, or even in the whole That's match, so like, stupid. out of everybody. That being said, I feel like uh, this like, gameplay that it's showing now is right now. some pretty good gameplay <laughs> footage. Uh, I actually got I quite offended. a bit that I can use. I, will uh, I do have a couple of complaints about Call of Duty. Like, like I've noticed or something? recently yeah. a lot of people are, instead of trying to play the game, they're doing stupid stuff. And I get it, you know, you're trying to do it for amusement and all that. But typically, if you're trying to, you know, make people laugh... You don't want to have people doing it every game they do. Took a duke people get tired of it after a certain amount of time. And so you got to just move on with what you're doing. You know, just go carry it somewhere else because people don't want to see it. Uh, another big thing is people giving up right at the very end because of, of you know, you're about to lose the match. You're down you 10, 15, 20 points. Know? And your team's just like, screw it, we're not going to win. Might as well just, you know, fuck off, do whatever. I feel you shouldn't really have that just can't. that mindset because of the fact that you can have an amazing turnover and just just stomp. Like, oh, no, just, I, I mean, literally stomp these people into the ground. It just has to take playing smart, watching how they play, Joel, Joel and adapting reliable. to that. You know, if they're camping in the back, then try to do work as a team to break through, you know, one side of the map to get behind them. Or, uh, if you're using a gun that's, you know, short range, maybe try switching to something that's longer range for you're able to land more hits on them. Really that kind of thing yeah, that it really gets to me there, on like... Call of Duty because people are doing things... Oh, I only play with shotguns. Cool. Not if you're going to play with shotguns, maybe you need to try to go to a smaller like a smaller Joker. game to where okay, you're not going to have to worry about so many people trying roof, to camp man. or try to go to you know, a game yeah. setting where it'll have smaller maps for you. You know, play to your advantage, play to your strengths. That's what I feel. That's why I play a lot of Team Deathmatch because I'm not really tactical, so I don't play Search and Destroy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Me personally... You. It's a great way to level up fast because if you get a kill, you get a lot of points. But uh, because I don't think tactically like that, I don't get a lot of kills. So I stay out of search and destroy. I stick to team deathmatch and see what I can do in there. And plus, I feel team deathmatch, I can get a lot more kills with my guns. So I can level them up, get the new camos, get you know new attachments. Or as I'm working on right now, my barracks challenges where it's you get yeah, there's 35 a guy kills with Fuck. the assault rifle, with the submachine gun, so on and so forth. Off. That's just my honest opinion, though. Other than that, I'm still really enjoying the game. Um, me playing more aggressive, I've noticed it's actually really working out for me. I've done pretty well with uh, submachine guns, shotguns. Um, I'm wanting to get away from using the sh the shotguns, especially the 725, because it's it's overpowered. They, they're supposed to be some kind of fix to fix it, where it's not, I guess, as long range or whatever. But with the way the game is made, there's a lot of small buildings that How are you, you can camp with the shotgun or hide with a shotgun, and know. just you know one shell person. I got a double kill with one shell, and. Because just my reflex of freaking out and holy crap, there's someone in my face. I still fired the second shot, but I didn't have to. Um, the other shotguns the are like a little underwhelming compared to the 725. There's the there's one that you get after it. That's like a rapid fire you know, shotgun, or it's a burst shotgun, and it just it it's really weak almost. It's like shooting someone with a rocket launcher compared to hitting somebody with a slingshot. That's how the how much of a difference it feels like it makes. So, um, I can see why people definitely love the 725 in the game. It's really good. It looks really dumb when you have the sawn-off barrel on it and you have, like, that foregrip on it and you got a fancy stock and, you know, you get your silencer tip. It looks really dumb. 
that I that is just my honest opinion. It looks stupid. And for some reason it works in certain situations. And I hate it. Because I like the idea of practicality, and that does not scream practicality. <laughs> my uh, next challenge I'm gonna be working on though, because I just got my light machine gun challenge, like my 35 kills with it. It's going to be sniper, and I'm actually looking forward to sniper because I'm wanting to get more into sniping, not necessarily camping, but able to, you know, quick draw, almost quick scope people. But I don't want to get that far into it. I don't want to be able to. Okay, guy, stairs over here. You know, Brian. pop off a couple shots. Sorry about that. Hey, I did yawn. I'm story. tired. It's 2:40 in the morning, almost three, and I've had a long day today. But um, my next challenge is going to be using snipers. Hopefully, I can get some gameplay footage of that. Um, I don't believe I recorded any of the submachine gun, and if I did, it was like the very end of it. Um, the shotgun I did, or Shit, I believe I did. I know I did a light machine gun. But oh, he's. Oh, other than that, I see. He's seeing your. Uh, it's a pretty your solid game. Work. I still really hate the one here. map Recharge. though. That's a shooting range. Like that one is abysmal for a team deathmatch. The map is just for way really? too small. You know, that you're spawning in the middle of the team when you die that first time, and then just after that, you're spawning in the middle of a couple of enemy Be team. Be careful members. around this corner. It's just, it's not fun. Guy. Uh, people, oh, I'm, I'm enjoying this map. You're enjoying it because you're throwing uh, explosives and you have some sort of gun that just is stupid ridiculous. Or behind 725. Us. You have, you know, the kilo shooting as fast as it can. Uh, you have what? teammates that are just chucking, you know, stun grenades, flash grenades, everything you can think of under the sun. I, I absolutely hate that map. The map is just abysmal. I would say move that map to, like, a close quarters, you know. If I think they have like a four on four mode or a four v four mode, Dude, that's move that crazy. map to that. Or if they bring back cage match like they used to have yeah. in the old Call of Duty Four, uh, move that to like a cage match. That would be ideal. It's a little bit bigger than what that one was, but you know you could get the upper hand on people, or even actually a two v two would be nice. That one would definitely be worth doing a 2v2 and even a 3v3 that that would be where that would really shine a 6v6 or more no i say that's absolutely horrible um i noticed too some of the light machine guns well one of the light machine guns the 299 um i was having good i was i was good with it on some maps and other maps it worked other maps was kind of eh so, that, that gun, uh, I don't know, I, I think I might have been using just the wrong light machine gun for that challenge, because I know not every light machine gun is the same, you not every assault machine gun is the same, not every assault rifle is the same, but I feel like the light machine gun, not um, that one is lacking a little bit, places. and the only reason I used yeah. it was because of the fact that I had the most gun levels for it. Otherwise, I would have just chose the first one and left it at that. Cool. But so far, I'm really enjoying my experience. You know, I'm getting really back into Call of Duty, really <laughs> back into being competitive, what? and being able to do things Fucking that you uh, I used to be able to oh, because yeah. I did step away that from playing Call of Duty for a couple of years. I played casually. I did horrible, and I was like, it's all the game's fault. And no, not really. Like, Bink, you know, my reflexes cool. were, you know, dulled. Being able to tell when someone was there was oh, dulled. And I'm starting to get that back, which is actually really good. It feels really good being able to play the game, be you know, really competitive, and uh, be able to get like, you know like kill streaks and stuff. It's I'm actually enjoying myself. <gasps> I'm wanting to do more into uh, like older school Call of Duty, just so it can be like you know not even so much stocks, but you know getting these attachments. You know, get grenade launcher, and then you get your silencer, and then you get you know. Other stuff like that, and then getting camos, you know, having to get headshots. Not, hey, you crouch and you got 250 kills, here's a new camo. Uh, headshots, headshots are always the thing that, that was like, what really proved your skill was being able to shoot someone in the head and heave a battle. If you got lucky, you could get a, a good chunk of headshots by sneaking up on somebody, but with as far as like gaming headsets have come, being able to 
sneak up behind somebody isn't as easy because of the fact of, you know, um, Astros are really good. Turtle Beach, still really good. You know, people give them a lot of shit, but they're more of a, a value-based headset. But anyways, um, you know, I want to be able to have that kind of challenge. But I believe it's getting close to the end of the video, so hopefully you've enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Take care. Goodbye. Were you trying to camp the whole time? Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow. You sound like a